My name is Adam Strauss. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm doing two shows on the fringe this year. Um, what are they, you ask? All right, I'll tell you briefly. Uh, one is the Mushroom Cure. That is 3.50 p.m. at Underbelly. Uh, that is a completely true account of how I attempted to cure my debilitating obsessive compulsive disorder with uh, hallucinogenic mushrooms. Uh, and the second show is uh, part of the Free Fringe at 7.05 p.m. That's called The Sordid Sex Life of the Montaigne Vole. Uh, and that's at Chow Roma, 64 South Fringe. Uh, so anyway, being that I'm doing two shows at the Fringe, uh, I, was, I was very careful. I wanted to have my accommodation be someplace a little bit, uh, I wanted a quiet place that I could retreat to. I knew it was going to be exhausting being out there flyering and performing uh, for so much of each day. And so I tend to be a fairly meticulous researcher, as you will learn if you, uh, if you see my show. So I did a lot of research. I found what looked like beautiful luxury flat, uh, peaceful views of Arthur, Arthur's seat, a uh, convenient location, but not right in the thick of things, and, um, you know, ludicrously expensive. So I'm embarrassed to tell you how expensive it is, but uh, suffice to say, uh, substantially more expensive than my apartment in New York City. Um, so I was really happy I found this place. I arrived, you know, exhausted, jet lagged, having not slept in 36 hours. And it turns out it's what uh, I've since learned is called council housing, um, which would be okay. I mean, I, I have no problem with that per se, but uh, this particular council house, uh, it has some issues. Uh, I mean, some might consider them amenities. For one thing, I don't need to check weather reports online. Uh, because when it rains, I, I have a leak that tells me that, so that's convenient. Uh, the biggest amenity, though, is I don't need an alarm clock because I live above a family of... I'm still trying to figure out how many people there are in this family. It's the, Their layout has to be the same as mine. It has to be a one-bedroom flat. There have to be... I don't know, 11? I, I, don't, I don't know how... It's, I continually see new people going in and out of this flat. And uh, you'd think when you have a lot of people in a confined space like that, you know, they, they would want to be quiet out of respect for one another. But they've adopted the opposite tactic, which is constant shouting. And when I say shouting, I don't even mean shouting in anger. I mean they just shout. That seems to be the only way they communicate with each other. It, to the point that when I first heard it, it, it sounds like the sort of shouting you would do if someone's in danger, like, get down! But it's so constant. Like, they have to just be shouting things to each other, like, pass the salt! What do you want to watch tonight on telly? That's what you call it, right, telly? Okay, trying to get my local references down. Um, I want to pander properly. Um, so it's been challenging. I, I'm continually woken up by them uh, and the leak. Um, but uh, you know, it's the fringe, and um, and and I'm. I suppose I should be grateful to just have a roof over my head, albeit one that that leaks constantly. So uh, regardless, I, I'm glad to be here. And uh, and yes, uh, come out and uh, see my shows.